So for this tutorial, I'm going to review how to open a Word document in the online version at your school and how to save it to your computer. Um, the, the issue is that most people at school go through their email, so I am going to have to pause so that I hide some of my emails because some of that's personal information. Um, so I'm going to pause now just so I can get over there and show you how to get to this document. Okay, so you should be able to see uh, a little box where we have Outlook mentioned. This is like the side of my messy email. Um, and you're going to go up to the waffle symbol is what we call this. And sometimes if you've used it, it's going to show up in your list already. Uh, and this would be your school email. And you'll click the waffle symbol, a bunch of apps will pop up. If Word does not show up in this area right here, you'll go ahead and go to all apps and find it. But mine is showing up, so we're going to click Word. And then I need to pause it just a minute to show you the whole screen. So here we are, and most of the time it shows up exactly like this. If not, you can open a new blank document. Um, and I will have uh, videos on how to set up an MLA style paper. But for now, this is showing up for us. So we are actually going to choose the MLA style paper. And I'm going to show you how to correct it in the online version so that it fits you. Um, now, teachers will have a lot of different requirements, but for me, uh, I give specific assignment requirements, and since we're just working with a template, uh, there's no special information on this. This is just to help you set up your document. So when you open up your template, it looks a little bit different if you have the online version of Word. And um, in the in the part, if you have your app, your app on your computer, you'll just double click in this area, which is your header, to get where I'm going. In the online version, you actually have edit header. So you'll click it once, usually. And when you're doing templates, templates are odd because when you open them, if you do one thing wrong, it messes up the whole thing. So on this, I'm just going to click one time on this section, like right in the middle of last name. And I'm going to make up a name because my last name is Gibbons, but we're going to go Jones for the student name. And then just to get out of this header in your online version, you just go down to the body of the document and you click. And then to change this, uh, since I'm going to be a Jones today, uh, I click once on it because it's a template and it's going to highlight that and it's going to delete it when I start typing. And I'm going to be Jennifer Jones today. Uh, the next part is instructor and your instructor may want you to do this differently. In mine, I go by Mrs. Gibbons, but it might be Jackie Gibbons. Um, but my students are to put Mrs. Gibbons in mind. Now this is uh, a course at one college and you would wanna put your own course name on here if you're in a different class. Uh, but for our class, and, and again, instructors may want you to do this differently. Uh, you may have to spell out English, but in my courses, I do the course um, name and, and the actual, the number for it so but they might have you put like English 300 or English 101 or whatever it is that you're doing um, now dates in MLA are a whole nother beast and it's the most frequent mistake that I've ever seen in papers uh, today is January 20th 2022 uh, so you're actually gonna put your date here 20 right and then your month now some um some advice on mla will ask you to abbreviate and some will not again um, you want to make sure your instructor uh, you follow their preferences uh, but this is this is correct in any version and then it's 2022 so this is the most up-to-date uh, mla template and it works perfectly so all right, so the title here has a subtitle. Sometimes you'll see subtitles in things, but I mean, you aren't required to have a subtitle in your title. So what I'm gonna do here so that we're using the same method to get rid of the information is I'm gonna put my cursor after both words and I'm gonna carefully back it up until I'm only left with title so that the title is perfectly centered in the middle. So then I'm gonna click one time on title and then I'm going to make up a title. For this, I'm just going to put MLA template so that I have finished. Now, this down here, what happens in the template is it's explaining some stuff. Uh, all of these little brackets and tables would be deleted in your final version. Uh, this right here, they've actually got, um, it doesn't look like they have it correct. So I'm going to correct this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead 
and delete everything that is not what I just did. Now you do not have to do this part, but I do want you to know that I'm just gonna leave this one little section. Let's see, what's gonna make me delete it all? So let's just do that. So what they've done here, I don't like um, in their little template is that they've formatted the uh, works cited page incorrectly. So we're gonna fix that so that you have a document to type on. And uh, here, uh, I just went ahead and deleted everything except this information at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and hit insert and I'm gonna insert a page break right before works cited. Okay, so that, that means, hey, Word, keep this break there no matter what I type on the first page. So we're page breaking. You'll see in the online version, it just tells you it's there. Another problem here is that this part, um, this particular part right here is, is not, it does not appear to be centered. And the easiest way for me to fix this um, is if you go up here, hold on a second. If you go up here, um, to, where's it at? I messed up. Hold on. I'm sorry. Sometimes the instructor messes up. I'm not sure what it was. So, uh, highlight works cited, and I went to the home tab, and you just go to the middle text alignment, and you'll see that there's a centered. You don't want to do justified because that means it's even on both uh, margins. You want to do center. It's going to center it, and now it's correct. So when we do download this, it is going to look correct, and you can tell that because there's a there's a page break. And then, of course, you would want to fill this up with your own sources. This is just giving you examples of how to do that. So by the end of this, you've already replaced your header, which you cannot see yet. Um, you'll actually type on this page, and if I were going to put, this is the beginning of my essay or assignment. Um, I am going to do my best to uh, format everything properly. Oh, look at that. I can tab. And so on and so forth. Uh, and just a tidbit of information when you are typing an essay. Um, make sure that you follow all the directions of the instructor. For example, in my classes, paragraphs are five or more sentences, uh, five or more well-developed sentences of varied length. So I have very specific requirements for that. So now we're going to save this really quickly, and um, you'll have to excuse my mess on my computer. Uh, I need to go in and reorganize it. I'm actually using my old laptop because it's in um, it's a, just a regular old computer. So. Um, so we've got save as, and you're going to download a copy because right now this is saved online. This is not saved on my local computer. And if you're going to submit this to eLearn or Blackboard or whatever your, um, whatever your platform is at your school, uh, you're going to need to download a copy. Now people's computers download copies in strange ways sometimes. Uh, some people have their computer set where it'll download straight to downloads. Okay, and some have it straight to their desktop or whatever it is. So you will have to go locate the file. Uh, but to download a copy, you click download and it'll say download a copy on here. And that's it. So uh, mine actually opens up and I can enable editing and I can save it because I have I have Word on my computer and you can see that the, the header is correct. This is correct. And if we go down, uh, page two is correct. Now on this one though, what happens is because it's a template, uh, when I download it, I have to go in and change my last name. Now remember when I said if you had this on your local computer, uh, like an actual app, um, it will look like this anyway when you open it. So we can go to last name and you just double click inside of your header and I'm going to replace this. You click it once just like the other one and you put in Jones or your last name and you double click down in the body to get out of that. Now I can actually go in now and save this to a different location, but you might not be able to. Um, it might just be in your downloads folder. So what you would do is go into your platform that you're turning on, um, where you're going to turn in your information and you will go in and, you know, click the submit, the, the upload button, uh, on whatever platform you're on and then choose probably the most recent document in your downloads folder but you know it just depends on where it's saving it on your computer so I hope that this part helps because I know that a lot of students use the online version of Word uh, if you do not use the online version of Word um, it will look like 
um, well, just like when I opened this. So if this were on my computer and I opened Word for my computer, not from online, uh, let me move this down so you can see the whole thing. Hold on. Okay, so if this was on my computer, um, then let me move. I have to move everything. Okay, so then this looks a little bit different, right? And and I would just file, file, save as, and I would save it wherever I save mine, which this has a couple colleges on it, but I would just browse mine um, and look for a place that I actually want to save it. And see, I've got some in my downloads folder now. Uh, and then I can go to desktop or I can go to documents. And then whenever I go to upload it onto um onto the platform you know i've already got it in the location that i need it in so that i can just easily upload it from my computer i think some of the confusion comes from when you have something on your one drive or you have something on any drive um like your your macbook has icloud um you know these are all out there on the web they're not on your local computer so they're not they're not something usually that your platform, whatever you're using at school, that you can upload directly. So it gets a little confusing sometimes. So uh, I hope that this helps and um, uh, I hope that you uh, spend some time writing and reading and improving, um, well, just improving overall. So thank you for listening and I hope that you'll subscribe if you get a chance and have a wonderful day.